Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of 1997 score baseball, both series one and series two. So I did both of the both of the series at the same time. I thought about splitting it into two, but it was too boring. So I figured, okay, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll do it as as a single for both of them. Um, and really, a big part of the reason why I I considered it boring is because the cards themselves are really boring. As score goes, this is shockingly pedestrian. Um, the card backs have some potential, but this is really the strength of the cards. The front, I just, I really don't get why they came up with this idea for 1997. Huge step down from 96, I think, and not anywhere near what 98 was able to achieve either. So for me, I, I wanted to, the two things I wanted to do was one, I wanted to try to complete the set. And the other thing was there were there are a few cards I still need to get for my video on 97 score. As I'm doing this video, that's that's uh, an upcoming video for me to to do. So I was hoping to get something out of it. And the answer to that was no, I didn't get anything that I needed for the video. But that's quite all right. Um, this was still a lot of fun to to do because the the cards like i said the cards are just super boring there's really nothing inspirational about them but there were enough cards there enough things that came up in the pack that it kept it lively so start off with the showcase series cards and these come one every seven so you're supposed to get basically about five per per box and i in series one i got five but in there i happened to get cal ripkin jr so that was that was a big plus that that I got for um, for this. There we go. Um, so that was uh, that was nice, but um, I was hitting above the average. So I guess I should start off by just saying where I got with the sets. Series one, I got within sixty six cards. So I'm sixty six cards away. Fair number of doubles, but not not enough to make it seem like I got ripped off. Series two, the the set is a lot smaller. So this is 330 cards, and I got 266 cards in the set, so I'm missing 64. This is only 220 cards, so it's two-thirds the size. I got within 10 cards, very close. And if I just needed series two, 10 cards is no problem, but I'm missing 74 between both series. That's a lot to be missing. Um, so yeah, that that's how I got uh, in terms of the set. So like I said, for series one, I got uh, five um, of the uh, showcase series. I got six in series two, so that was above average. But I also got uh, within that I got a Randy Johnson and I got a Ryan, Ryan Sandberg uh, subsets uh, subset cards. So a little above the average there. For the um, for the artist proof, I got. One artist proof in series two, which is one per box. I managed to get two uh, in in the series one box, so it was really doing well. Uh, David Justice being one of the cards in in this uh, this set, the artist proof logos there. Um, I think that I think it was that I got the the retail boxes and the the hobby boxes for series two have artist proof where they have just the, it's white and they, they have just the logo. So I only got this one, but I got two uh, two there. In series one, I also got uh, Titanic Taters, which you should be getting one per box. And I got Movon. Um, one, uh, possibly two per box of the um, uh, Randy Johnson pitchers. I got Will Clark and Randy Johnson. So I got two of those, but this is one in 24 packs or I think 23, and so that means that you're more likely to get one rather than two, so I did better than that. And then a one every two box, uh, the franchise, I got Chipper Jones. This is not the glow card, this is just the regular card. So I got that as well. So I got way above the average in series one because I, I, I had a 50-50 chance of getting this. I had a one in 35 boxes chance of getting two of these, and I had a... Is it two and uh, I think it's a one in three box chance of getting two of these. So it was just um, above average all the way around. For series two, uh, this is as I, yeah, this is also a one every other box. So like the franchise, I had a 50-50 shot of getting one. I got an Alex Rodriguez card, A Rod. 
Um, I got a one per box Blast Masters, which is Andrew Jones. And this is a pretty sparkly card. And then just like the uh, the pitchers, I got a um, I had a a one in three boxes chance of getting two. I got two Heart of the Orders, Matt Williams and Jay Buner. So that was um, there we go. There's Jay Buner's card. So again, I did well above the average for for series two as well. So as you can see, I got a lot of, of inserts. I got, let's see, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 11 um, inserts, whether they're parallels or inserts in series one. I got six, seven, eight, nine, 11 in series two as well. So about every third pack had something special in it. And that was what made this a lot of fun. Because when you go through these cards, and you just go card by card by card. It is boring. This is tragically a really, 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 I don't even want to say underwhelming set. This is a boring set. This is the card set, one of those card sets you finish in order to check it off so that it's gone, it's done, it's out of the way. You don't have to worry about it anymore. That's really what it was, and that's how I was approaching it. You get it for the inserts, um, very much so. And uh, so with the doubles, I'll, I'll mention, I got doubles of Mike Piazza, um, Derek Jeter, Cal Ripken Jr., Manny Ramirez, um, Sammy Sosa, and uh, Brian Giles rookie card. So that was series one, and then series two, I got a lot more rookie cards, or a lot more uh, notable doubles because of subsets. So you had Jose Canseco, um, Eddie Murray, and then Goniard of Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Piazza, a-Rod, Frank Thomas, um, Big Mac, and then True Grit cards of Tony Gwynn, Derek Jeter, Kyle Ripken Jr., and a checklist of Frank Thomas. I don't remember getting any triples. It's possible I got some triples, but I don't remember that happening. And the cards didn't really stick together, so that wasn't an issue. The only issue I ran into was there was a uh, Benito Santiago card where there's there's some, uh, it looks like it got dirty because someone was eating ice cream, chocolate ice cream. That's It's the way it looks. I don't know. It came right out of the pack like that. It's the only problem I ran into with any of the cards in the set. Otherwise, they all came out in really good shape. The centering actually was not too bad uh, for some of them, but most of them is way off. I I was surprised at just how how off the centering tended to be on these cards. Um, it would have been nice to uh, so like right here with Norm uh, 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 oh Norm Carlton. Uh, the center is almost perfectly. Actually, I will say Series Two had better centering than Series One. So the, this card is one of the better ones. Series one was the one where it was kind of frustrating uh, in terms of the centering. It would have been nice just because it, it really is surprising how far off they are. So uh, so Bagwell here is not much on the, this side, and then uh, Mickey Tuttleton not much on, on the opposite side. Most of the cards in Series one kind of came out that way. Um, it would have been, uh, it, it's kind of like a, a not very well thought out affair. And it would have been nice if they had more cards in the box, getting me closer to the set. But at any rate, um, I uh, ironically, today I won on eBay the, the tin of the complete set in a tin. So I actually don't need these. Uh, again, I did it basically for the, for the inserts, and that was a lot of fun. But this is certainly not a break the bank kind of affair at all. You know, there's if you're into gambling, there's there's the chance that you could get like a Griffey uh, artist proof, but they don't have quite enough of significance in in these packs to really justify a huge amount of price. I wish that they got me close to the set, considering that the cards themselves aren't all that exciting. Um, but yeah, that that was the case. So that's how this went for me. And uh, again, I, I do like that there's just enough of the inserts that show up in the packs to keep, to keep it kind of lively. So yeah, thank you very much for watching.